I think I've ever been this tired in my entire life. Which is a statement because I'm tired of the bloody moment at the time. At the time does make sense. Hi guys, so obviously it's after Christmas now. I had such a nice holiday. I hope everyone else did too. I thought I did this last year as well. Um I thought that I would like put all my Christmassy bits into like a montage because <coughs> because I didn't speak to the camera or anything i didn't even say hi it's christmas i just like filmed loads of little bits um the same as i did last year and then i thought that i would just sit down on the chill day that the 27th usually is for me and i would like show you what i got um i probably won't show everything because i did get quite a lot i was spoiled this year like i always am um from my nans my parents my friends uh, and then also uh, I've got the stuff that I bought yesterday which was Boxing Day um, because I have my second Christmas at my nan's on Boxing Day my dad's parents and then um, we go shopping in Swindon first of all I'll mention the stuff that I'm wearing this is quite a nice background actually I like this I might use this in videos because the lighting is good as well but I thought I'd uh, mention what I'm wearing because if not, I'll forget because I'm stupid. Uh, so the main present I got from my mum, which I asked for, was a new dressing gown because I'm sure you guys know my old dressing gown was absolutely minging. I wear it every single day, so it got disgusting. And this is all fluffy and I love it. Um, from Primark, from the men's section, of course, because I love oversized hoodies. And I just think the men's section is a bit better. Plus I'm going for a kind of grungy stage again like my style kind of switches up i have lots of different kind of styles overall it's just very modern and basic and modern uh but yeah i love this color this orange this yellow based um red uh so yeah this is from the men's section this is actually a large even though it's really not that big so i think it's like from the boys section not men and then i just got some plain um comfy gray shorts that are boring and yeah my mum got me um two pairs of fluffy socks well actually i got a lot of socks this year i love getting socks my face shape like i just look like a moon um okay so first which is i mean i know this probably makes me sound really boring but this is like one of my favorite gifts i got this year it's one of these water bottles but it's water bottle i sound really british when i say that but But it tries to get you to drink two of these a day. But yeah, it says like 8am, 9pm, 10pm. And then you get to 12pm uh, and then you refill it and you drink it again. I got this NY City Girl, which I think is just like a cheap eyeshadow palette. But oh my god, the colours in here are actually so beautiful. Um, And I can't wait to become more adventurous with my eyeshadow and stop using the same colour over again, which is just like a normal light brown all over my lid. I got these thermal socks which oh my goodness are so comfy like they're so fluffy and soft but yes these which are cute because they're long as well uh when i'm like obviously i love 
oversized jumper, so I like high socks. Just like to lounge in the house and stuff. I cannot remember the last time that I wore a normal outfit in the house. Like, I'm not kidding. I either wear comfy clothes or, you know, like, kind of a mix between pyjamas. Like, loungewear. Or I wear, like, stuff like this. My sister got me a pack of three penguin socks. These are my favourite because they're adorable. My old manager at the card factory got me a pair. Got me a pair. Got me a set of guitar strings, which is such a good gift idea. Um, one of my friends got me this tiny, this Yankee Candle Spiced White Cocoa Candle. I love these. They're just so cute. This is the mascara that I wear, but it's just not the um, uh, waterproof version. But I've never tried the original. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara. And this is the Hungover Too Faced Eye Primer. I just think that's such a cute gift idea. but Because uh, I want to do a lot of travelling next year. Which means I don't have to bring my full size mascara. I can take this little one. And I've never used an eye primer before. So I'm so glad that I have one. And it's like a Too Faced one. Dang. Boing. Oops. And that's broken. Uh, my other friend. I know I have more than one. <laughs> okay. Orange Smarties. Is it just me that thinks like one colour Smarties is just like so satisfying? I don't know why, but I actually wore this yesterday. I'm just really into black at the moment and like high boots and like even like tattoos. Like I'm getting two new small tattoos next week and like beanies and bandanas and stuff like that. She got me a friends top because everybody knows that I love friends. And it's like perfect, it's oversized too which makes me a happy chappy. It's from H&M, which I think is like one of the best clothing places ever. Look at the sellotape that came in my cracker. Oh my god, it's so cute! Uh, now stuff that I opened on Christmas Day when I went to my mum's house with her parents. Oh, I feel so lucky, like, I knew that I'd gotten a lot, but like, looking at it all now, I'm like, whoa. Okay, my mum got me this bag, which is so ideal like you probably know that the only size bags i have are these and also like i said i'm going through my little like i love everything black and rocky and stuff so i love the like studs on this and it's really similar to my other one but my other one is like fake leather whereas this one is suede um i love the little zip down here it's fake i got really confused i was like why is there a zip here but it's fake she got me a um little home sense voucher oh whoops because Home Sense is like one of my favourite shops ever. I love it so much. Slash TK Maxx, same kind of thing. Uh, oh, Christmas socks. But these are so cute, little candy canes. I'm still figuring out where to put this. But it's one of those things that comes in a cute little, like, from like a little homemade shop as well. But it came in this cute little bag with this adorable sticker on it. It reminds me a bit of like Kawaii. Kawaii. -A. Um, but thank you so much for supporting a small business with big dreams and it came with a little party like a platypus sticker but it's a is it called sugar and sloth yeah sugar and sloth dot co dot uk oh my god it's so adorable <gasps> I like your lovely face this is a little badge it says I just bloody love cats okay um, I might put it on my guitar case uh, I actually do have another um, badge on my guitar case which is how I like can tell which one is mine when I do gigs and everyone puts their guitars out back uh, this is probably like I'm probably like the most excited for this um, now I am a very self motivated person if I want to learn something I will learn it in one day if I don't want to learn it I'll never learn it in my entire life that kind of person I sucked butt at geography in school I was just bloody awful at it I dropped out of it after like a year and I just have no recollection of ever being taught any kind of geography in primary school. So I have like no knowledge of geography, of like the basics, like where stuff is in the world and stuff. Um, obviously I've looked at a map a couple times and I know like where most things are, like I know countries and stuff like that. But I just, I always wanted like a little globe just to, so I could like <clears throat> become less stupid at geography basically. And my mum got me this, which is so adorable. Like, I didn't even ask for it. I've just kind of mentioned that I've always, like, wanted one. But, oh my god, it's so cute. Why is that triggering my megalophobia? I don't like looking at the side that has the ocean because that scares me. Because I'm a fucking weirdo. So when I went uh, shopping a couple weeks ago with my mum, I mentioned 
that I didn't know whether to get this or not and then she must have gone back and got it. It's Unicorn Magic <laughs> Shower Gel, but it smells so good. Oh my god, why didn't I use this this morning? Oh, it smells, it smells of magic. Is that weird? Like, it doesn't smell of anything other than, like... Oh, that's on my nose. It... I got sweeties! Um, uh, oh, my nan got me one of the 10 P's. In England, you can get these 10 P's. And there's... 26 that's one for every letter of the alphabet um and obviously she got me the e e for emily but e on this is for english breakfast so each of the letters stand for like my brother harry it was h so it was houses of parliament um molly was macintosh this from primark uh it's a glitter liquid a liquid glitter eyeshadow but i swatched it on my hand and it dries so quickly and like i don't know i'm just so excited to use that it's not uncomfortable or anything like it looks like a really nice thing to wear a face mask because i love face masks this is a charcoal one charcoal is like my favorite thing i prefer like the more natural ingredients like sea salt charcoal rather than like the flavored masks like strawberry or chocolate i just feel like it probably does more even though it probably doesn't so the same day um that my mum got this for me she also got these but that's because i pointed them out to her and i was like Oh my god, I love these. I used to have them when I was younger. Like, they give me nostalgia. So I mentioned it to my mum. She was like, oh, I'll get them for your stocking if you want. And I was like, okay. Um, it's the Lip Smacker flavoured lip balms. You know, like, I've got the Vanilla Coke one, the Coca-Cola one, the Fanta one. And Sprite. And Sprite. It's a BTS reference. I only know that because my sister watches all the BTS videos and she sends me them all the time. But I send her five sauce videos back, so now we're even. <laughs> oh my god. It just smells of my childhood, you know? Um, and then I got more fluffy socks. This is actually my third pair of socks that have ears on. But they're so bloody soft. Primark are really good for fluffy socks. Uh, I'll show you just a couple of the things that my nan gave me yesterday. My dad's mum, whose house we go to on Boxing Day. I got drawer liners. I've never seen these before, but like they're actually adorable. Um, you put them inside your drawer and they just smell nice. Mm. Matchsticks. She always gets us matchsticks and I love them so much. This is bloody adorable. I feel like this would look so nice with like an all black bag, but the kind of colours I've been wearing have really changed since I've dyed my hair. Oh no, the lighting has gone in. And like this lilac, like this, it's not pastel, it's like a movie beigey lilac i don't know how you'd explain that but it's like suede is that suede i don't know i'll just say it's suede but yeah i love these kind of colors since i've dyed my hair glitter bath stuff yes please this really cute um cropped white jumper which is like right up my street i actually love this so much this is like the kind of thing that I would wear. Like that with my black jeans and my black boots. Match this one. Oh my god, truffles, I forgot about this. <gasps> this makes me happy. I really like truffles. Uh, and now the stuff that I got from Primark. So obviously I got this and the shorts that I'm wearing. Uh, I'm obsessed with beanies at the moment. Obsessed. Also because they hide my roots, which are horrendous. That's another thing I'm doing. Um, I'm getting eyelash extensions. I'm getting my roots done. And I'm um, getting two new tattoos between now and the new year, um, like in the new year. Um, I got these two beanies. There was a beanie that was this colour that I absolutely loved, but I just wasn't feeling confident enough to buy it. So I got this one. This is from the men's section, because the men's section just have so much better stuff than the girls. Um, I got this one, which is adorable body scrub i'm obsessed with body scrubs but they just don't last very long for me so i got this one and it's like really runny so it lasts long like you don't need a lot um and this is only four pounds it's actually a mary poppins one it's a little disney one a spoonful of sugar scrub i've never watched mary poppins not gonna lie to you but it smells good and i used that this morning actually um oh also i picked this up in a poundland hubba bubba Hashtag nostalgia match. I used to get that from the pound shop. I mean from the corn shop for like 30p all the time. This is like right up my street at the moment. An oversized Coca-Cola top. I've wanted one of these for ages. Just like a Coca-Cola top. But yeah, this is oversized. Like pretty oversized on me. Which is what I like. So I'll either wear it as pyjamas slash loungewear. 
and I'll also wear it like as a going out top again with my black skinny jeans and my lace up boots I really like that that was six pounds and then oh my god I'm probably most excited for this this is like a little bandana um I started wearing like bandanas but the ones I have have got wire in so I put them under here um and then I like tie them up here so instead of going like that um I will do that instead and it gives me Ashton Irwin vibes from Five Seconds of Summer because he used to wear these like all the bloody time and he'd, he'd have a red one exactly like this. It's just like a classic styled bandana. Like everyone who has bandanas has this red classic one. Uh, I used my boots points to get um, a Barry M Molten Metal Nail Polish. This lighting is bloody horrendous, you can't see now. I might use this in videos because the lighting is good as well. The sun's gone in from when I started filming this about 20 minutes ago. Um, in Celestis... Cel... In a silver shade. I don't know why it's called silver because it's like a bluey purple, like holographic. These are the only uh, nail varnishes that look good with my plastic fake coffin nails that I wear. I can't get acrylic nails because I play guitar. Yeah, so I wear my plastic nails, which I take off after like a couple days because I just get bored of them. Um, and the Molten Metal Barry M Nail Paint is like the only ones that can go on it because they're a sheer colour, so they don't look all messy. But yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to show you. Um, I had such a nice holiday and I feel so like lucky, especially now looking back on all that I got. So I think I'll end this video here. I really, really hope that everyone else had a nice Christmas as well. Um, I hope that if you are struggling with your eating disorder that your thoughts weren't too loud and you were still able to like enjoy it as much as you could and I will see you in my next video which will probably either be me redoing my room, uh, I might do a what I ate today, although it will most likely be either me redoing my room or doing a new year's Q&A possibly.